Well, Portland cartoon artist Mike Bennett is at it again. This fall, you can check out his artwork at a new attraction in North Portland. Bennett is taking his wooden cartoon cutouts and turning them into a new crypto zoo. Cor Harlan, live in the St. John's neighborhood, checking out Bennett's Museum of Mystery. Cor? Hi, Ken. Hi, Emily. I've been talking with Mike here for the last hour or so, and this is a guy who has taken an art degree, and he has put it to good use. You know, I don't say that a lot, a lot of people in their college degrees, but you have really amped up the art stuff here at the Crypto Zoo Museum of Mystery. It's a 74 in North Chicago in the St. John's area here. These are all handmade critters that Mike makes. And again, uh, Mike, uh, these things are simply the product of your vivid imagination, are they not? Yeah, it's fun. You know, you have these monster stories and folk tales and, you know, most of them don't exist, but it's really fun. You get to choose your own colors, choose your own anatomy, make these as crazy as you want. Make your monster up. I don't know if this is, the, is this a Jersey it's Devil the here? Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil right here. J is for Jersey. He's got a little story there uh, that kids can kind of follow along there if they kind of go down. You'll move down the way here. Now, this one here to me, this is a red one here, but this looks like plankton from SpongeBob <laughs> to me. It's so in, a, in a red variety, this right? This is the Flatwoods Monster, which is a pretty cool one. It's a real outer space story and people are really into the Flatwoods Monster this year. So this is the receiving area. When you first come in the front door here, the admission, by the way, is free for everybody. So that's a good thing. Free is a very good price, as Tom <laughs> Peterson used to say. There's a receiving room. And then uh, after you're here for a while and you kind of take in a little bit, you actually throw the curtain back and you're into the museum here a little bit, which takes doesn't take all that long to walk through. Uh, but uh, you get to see sort of some of Michael's uh, displays and, and, and creatures uh, that are that are on display as you kind of walk through here. Now we've looked a little bit. What is a what, uh, this bunyip here? Yeah, the bunyip is from Australia. It's a really cool. You know, you got to come in and read the stories. You got to come in and read the stories. <laughs> There's a story behind each one of these critters. The bunyip is from Australia. So is the. Uh, oh, we told you last hour about this. Uh, <laughs> the yowie. Uh, the brawless yowie Australian gorilla. Let's pass this one by here for the. <laughs> for the time being. We got about a minute left. I want to kind of walk you through here. We are probably halfway through the walk in here, so you can see it's a very manageable walk and all sorts of critters right here again adorning the way here. Is there, Michael, a theme to any of this or is this all the product of a vivid imagination? Yeah, the theme is cryptids, which uh -huh. are animals that are that people claim to exist, but there's no scientific evidence. So Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, Mothman, all that stuff. It's really fun. You get to make up your own rules because they're just stories. You get to make up your own rules because they're just stories. We're going to end the segment here uh, with a uh, Wendigo. What is it? Wendigo? Yeah, Wendigo. Wendigo, yeah. okay. Yeah. What's, what's the story on him now? I mean, they're, they're, that's the cool thing about the Wendigo is there's so many different stories and so many different origins. Wisconsin, Canada, all sorts of places that these are from. A skeleton deer with antlers is what it looks like to me. Yeah, which is a real photo point in the space. Yeah. A lot of selfies taken here. It's a free tour through here. They've got a little gift shop back here that you can buy a little bit of the swag that uh, Michael has dreamed up on some of this corrugated plastic that stands up really well in the rain for yard signs, slow down signs in the, in the yard, and a lot of other things out here uh, at the uh, Crypto Zoo Museum of Mystery against in St. John's 7410 North Chicago is the address. Uh, come on out here because this is a guy who's going places. I have a feeling with this art. It's really cool. I can see an animator picking up on this and going, hey, I want to make a cartoon series out of these critters because there's just a million different, there are a million different things here to look at. I overlook this guy right here. Check that out. Emily, Ken, look at that right there. Now, Ken, I know for a fact that Michael has made a cutout of you. Yeah, he uh, joined before. us here today. And I told Michael, I said, I know Ken's got that on his desk. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yes. You, you can't see it right now, uh, Mike right and there. Cora, but Lil Ken uh, heard yeah. that we were chatting with Mike this morning. He wanted to come make an appearance. So we can say we knew Mike way back when because this was the very <laughs> first story we ever did with him for coin. I came out to his workshop and he made us a little Ken, because Ken was on vacation. I was on vacation, <laughs> and I came back. I actually saw this oh. on Twitter for the first time, yeah. because Emily tweeted you it out. You were getting tagged and all this yeah. stuff yeah, on your Yeah, when I came off. back from vacation, <laughs> I took a couple of pictures together with uh, mm -hmm. me and my other self. Uh, yeah, it's one of the highlights of my career, actually. You know, the nice thing about a cutout, Ken, is you don't have I'll to social distance. You can be Ken. right here at the desk with me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Well, thank you, uh, thank you Mike, for uh, doing what you're doing here. Uh, and also for doing what you mm -hmm. did back then with I me. I can't wait to check out the museum. That just yeah. looks really cool.
<laughs> okay. Well, should we have should we have Lil Ken toss it over to weather here, Kelly? <laughs> yeah. Also, nice thing about that, Ken, is uh, you don't have to go get that suit pressed. So very no, true. Not at all. Not at all. Very no true. dry cleaning we just involved. Had to, yep. We just had to dust the lapel a little bit. <laughs> got true. it out of the back of the studio. Yeah, it got a little dusty. It was in the back there. So uh, yeah, we had to pull it out. I love mm -hmm. it. That's great. <laughs> hey, you've got a beautiful.